I was thinking about what Mother Teresa said. She said she wasn't trying to play spiritual or get us to say, wow, what an amazing woman. She really meant it. She said, I thank God, I thank Jesus, not for what he gives, but for what he takes away. You know, uh, someone like me, sometimes I really, deep down inside, I get mad of God for not giving me what I have asked him. And I'm like, you're God. These are the things that I'm asked, the things I'm asking you, which is nothing for you. Just give it. Why aren't you giving what I'm asking you? See, I get even mad of God. Thanking God is not even in the picture yet. I get mad of God for him not giving me what I'm, I have asked him. Mother Teresa said, I thank God not for what he gives, but for what he takes away. Some may say, why would you do that? See, when God, almost, I'm talking in a human language with my own filter, right? This is me talking. When God refuses to give us what we have asked, and even when God takes away from us what He has given us previously, or what we have taken away by force in life, right? When the Lord takes away stuff, or when the Lord refuses to give stuff, but especially when He takes away stuff, it's always for our own benefit. It makes me mad, but it is for my benefit. I throw fit, but it is for my benefit. For, for, a, for a while I cry and inside, and then I even fall into depression but it is for my benefit. I may even get so mad of him, but what he takes away, or what he refuses to give, it's for my benefit. When I look back at my life, even the time that not I was 12, I couldn't, I didn't really understand what I wanted. But when I turned 18, 19, 20, right? I started to ask him. I was in Iran under the Islamic regime. And, you know, I started asking things. I didn't have a relationship with God. I thought God was Allah. But in my heart, I knew God, the creator of the world, is listening. I started asking him and wishing and desiring certain things. Every single thing that I have asked him. Now after about 35, 36 years, I look back and I say to myself, if he granted me the things I wanted, and if he did not take away some of the stuff I had, I would not be able to come here in America and find my Jesus here, and then find my Susie here. That's just one aspect. Meaning, the things he refused to give it to me when I was 20, 18 years old to 20, and the things even he took away from me, right? It feels like I was going in a, in toward a way but he almost became a stumbling block and kept putting a stumbling block in front of me. You may say, God would never do that. In my eyes, he does. Just to get us turned around and go other ways. No matter which way we go, 
like the book what was it the shack said the author said i will not every road will end up to him or toward him but jesus said i will travel any road to get you that's another story but if he has granted me all the stuff i ever wanted in that age i wouldn't be here and if he grants me everything i wanted now or even if he doesn't take away some of the stuff that i already have i would not be in the place he wanted me to be in 5 years 10 years 20 years You may say, okay, in 20 years, you're going to be like 76, you know, in 20 something years, you will be 80. You're not going to be able to enjoy your life. I don't look at my life, just the earthly life. We are being transformed here. And also our life is not really about us. <laughs> it's about others. We travel the road God wants us to travel. Of course, that we would be transformed. But to me, the way I see it is for other people. My life is not about me. I keep thinking almost every single day. My life is my own. It's not. It's a delusion. My life is not my own. And the life that was given to me as a gift, it meant to be laid down for others. Then my future is not really about me. It's about other people. And my future doesn't even belong to me. It belongs to the one who created me. My past belongs to him. My present time belongs to him. And my future belongs to him. Then why should I fall into depression and sadness and anxiety when he takes away things or if he, when he does not grant me what I have asked him? It's for my benefit. It's for your benefit. Thank you, Father, for what you take away, like Mother Teresa said. And thank you for not granting even the deepest desires of our hearts that will stop us from getting where you really want us to be. Because now after almost 30 something years, I can see he gave me far more than what I asked those days now. My ask was even a stupid and a small compared to what I have. I'm not talking about the monetarily stuff. Then my ask right now, it's small compared to what he has a store for me and you in five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Again, remember, it's not about how old we will be when we get to our promised land. You can say, you could fill the blank. It's about what? Others. It's about what? Our transformation us being revealed what's inside us it's about what our eternal life with him like children their ask is so small compared to the wishes and the dream that parent they have for them god even paid the price of us even cursing him sometime or being so mad of him and throw fit, but he will say, I love you enough, or I, I love you that much, which is unlimited, to not really rob you by giving you what you have asked me now. Wait, son, wait, daughter. Then Help us, Lord, to truly thank you and praise you for what you take away. <laughs>